Here we have uh, several restorations. We have about three or four different materials here. Now this is a denture, just a plain old, all acrylic, all plastic denture. Now another type of acrylic prosthetic, uh, this is a uh, temporary set of teeth that would go on implants, and this is a lower. You can see there are four black holes there, and those are the four holes where the screws would go through to attach the teeth to the implants. So this is the same material as the denture, it's just a different application. But for instance, if this acrylic prosthesis is going to be your final teeth, then it should cost less. Now what you have to understand is that acrylic is not going to stand up to the test of time. Which moves us over into the world of zirconia. We have four examples. One of the reasons we have four examples is we can show some of the color differences that are available. All of the pink gum tissue is baked porcelain onto this zirconia framework. And these are the six cylinders that interface with the six implants. This is an upper. And you can see there's no palette. We come back to the denture. You can see that the palette's fully covered. And so this is the difference in an implant bridge type situation versus a denture. But you can also see the difference in the gum color. This is all custom work. These types of prosthetics are not ordered, you know, in size three, two, and one, so to speak. This, it's all custom based on the person's each individual implants, how many they have, and where they're placed. Because the higher end zirconia stuff is gonna cost more than the lower end acrylic materials.